Hey guys, it's Heather from Here She Grows, and I thought I'd give you an update on that cover crop I planted a few weeks ago, which if you want to know more about that, you can find that up here. Just click this link and uh, it'll take you to that video. But what I thought I'd show you is what's going on here, and it's incredible, and I'm kind of geeking out over it right now because it's doing exactly what I hoped it would do. So if you remember a few weeks ago, I, I planted a cover crop of oats and peas in my raised beds. and. Within about three days, it was there were little green shoots coming up. It was that fast, and we've had really warm weather here, so it's had the, the good fortune of having that as well. So next week is gonna be very cold, and uh, so I don't think it's gonna get a chance to flower, which is totally okay. I made a note of it when I planted it so that I would plant sooner next year because the ultimate goal is to bring it to flower and then cut it back right away because that's when it's the most beneficial to your soil. So. Just to recap, I did the cover crop because I wanted to experiment with fertilizing organically in a very low maintenance, affordable, um, less work kind of thing to do. So that's what I did. But I thought I'd share with you something that I discovered yesterday. I've got some garlic that I planted here um, the other day and I cleared a few of the pea plants and the um, oat plants that were here. And what I discovered was something really cool happening um, to the roots of the pea plants. So we always hear about this thing called nitrogen fixing and it's, it's what you want, it's necessary for the garden because nitrogen is constantly in flux in the vegetable garden. It's being used, it's very important. It's the first thing in the NPK ratio, right? So nitrogen, what's it responsible for? Um, green leafy foliage, right? And tall, healthy plants and um, a good harvest. So what I discovered when I was moving out some of these pea plants to plant my garlic cloves was that the pea plants were developing the signs of, of nitrogen fixing, which brings me to rhizobia. So rhizobia is a, um, a good bacteria that's naturally occurring in most soils. And what happens with the rhizobia is when it senses that there are pea plants around, um, it's like a, the alert goes out with, a, and I look very aggressive here, don't I, with my, um, my garden knife, but it will be necessary for what I'm going to do next. So anyway, I'll set that down. Anyhow, um, so the rhizobia senses that there's pea plants in the garden and then the alert goes out to all the other rhizobia and they all flock to the pea plant roots and attach themselves to the roots and and that's where they go. And it sounds very nefarious, but it's, an, it's a very symbiotic relationship because the rhizobia needs the pea plants to survive and the pea plants need the rhizobia for the nitrogen. So what happens is all these rhizobia come in and they attach to the roots and form these nodules and the nodules get bigger as the plant approaches flowering. So I don't think my plants are gonna flower like I mentioned, which is totally okay. I, I'll still have green manure that I'll just turn over into the soil. And, um, but those nodules get bigger as it gets closer to flowering, which means it's forming more nitrogen and, and um, what's going on is the rhizobia are absorbing nitrogen from the air because there's nitrogen in the atmosphere, right? But all that nitrogen, nitrogen is inaccessible to the plants. So it has to, be, has to be transferred into a usable form and that's where the rhizobia comes in. So the rhizobia absorbs it, the nodules get bigger and the chemical reaction happens where the rhizobia tr transform the nitrogen into ammonium compound and then when the plant dies or we cut it back and turn it into the soil, all those nodules that have formed those white sacs release all that nitrogen back into your soil. And now the nitrogen cycle is com has completed. You've fixed nitrogen in the soil, so that's what that means. So um, I, like I said, it's not gonna flower. I, it's, I've not allowed enough time for it to do that, but I still have nitrogen fixing in the soil, um, not as much as, as it would as would have happened if they did flower, but I'm cool with that, live and learn, right? So next year, if I do this again, I'll just do it a little sooner. But I wanted to show you what those nodules actually look like because I was really excited about it and I thought this is exactly what I wanted it to do and it's a great thing. I, I always learn better from having a visual instead of someone telling me, so I wanted to show you too what um, these nodules look like and what they're actually doing. So, um, it's a really cool process and I'm really glad I did it. And it's not something you have to do every single year, but it's definitely worth doing, especially if you're an organic gardener and you're looking for a way to um, do something low maintenance and affordable for your soil. And soil is so important. So let me show you what it looks like, what these nodules look like on these pea plants. And this is where the knife, the aggressive knife comes in handy. 
Okay. Okay, oh my gosh, we got some good ones and I'm geeking out over my soil. Okay, so here are the nodules. Can you see them on here? These guys here, and they'll get bigger. So they're all over the roots. And it's totally a, it's definitely, it's, it's like an I, I'll scratch your back if you scratch my back kind of relationship. So it's a good thing and you want this to happen in your soil. And it doesn't always happen, um, it may not be, um, it might not happen if you have a lot of so uh, nitrogen already in your soil um, or maybe you've recently solarized your soil because you want to um, kill off weed seeds. So maybe the bacteria isn't as plentiful as it would be in like a bed like this where I'm growing in it all the time. So there's a lot of, I'm sure there's a lot of good bacteria floating around in there. But I hope this gives you a really good visual of what actual, um, what it means to fix nitrogen in your soil. So like when you go and get your seeds at, um, say you go to a big box store and you buy a package of pea seeds, next to those pea seeds will be, oftentimes will be an inoculant, which you want to buy because the interesting thing about this is there are different strains of rhizobia based on the crop that you're growing. So like there's, um, alfalfa has a, a strain that's compatible with it, a clover, the peas. Um, so all those are important because when you use the inoculant, you fortify the soil so you're using bacteria that's going to help that plant grow. And um, that's what we want to do, right? So anyway, I hope this gives you a better visual of what actual nitrogen fixing is in the process. Um, and I hope I didn't geek out too much on you, but I just think it's, the whole thing is so fascinating. And um, why wouldn't you want to do it? It's such an affordable thing to do. And it's, I've definitely learned something um, in the process. So I got lots of nodules. Well, anyway, have a great day, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit up that other video if you're curious about co cover crops and how it could benefit your soil. Um, definitely low maintenance, affordable, easy to do. Um, and I'll catch you in the next one. And please subscribe if, if you like this and um, wanna know, follow along with what's happening in my garden and the things that I'm doing. Um, that would be great. I'd love for you to tag along and uh, have a great day, guys. Thanks for watching.